Hey brother, welcome to another day of walking in wisdom from the book of Proverbs. Today we not so much have a proverb as we have a teaching, and especially for those of us who are married. And remember, we're in these last days of this series, we're talking about how one man sharpens another from Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron. Well, here's a way that a man can sharpen another. He can be reminded of how precious his wife is. Here's what it says in Proverbs chapter 31, verses 10 through 12. An excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. When we're talking about precious here, we're not talking about some infantile, silly, little nostalgic preciousness. No, we're talking about the how precious it is to wake up on a clear summer morning, go out on the porch and the sky is cloudless and you're feeling healthy and you've, you've just discovered a treasure and you're about to enjoy this day. It's that kind of preciousness that we're talking about. Your wife is precious to you. And maybe it's time for you to realize that and to acknowledge that and to step into it. Think of all the things that she's meant to you, even from the very beginning. Think about when you first met her, how captivated you were like Adam when he saw Eve and he said, oh, this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. He, she was irresistible to Adam, just as your soon-to-be wife was to you. Think of all that she's done for you, like this Proverbs 31 woman who who invests, she buys a field, she's involved in commerce, she dresses stylishly, she's attractive, It's she's a woman that he can be proud of. Think of all that your wife brings to your life. Think about her work for you, her loyalty to you, how she's moved with you, how she's counseled you, the intimacy you've enjoyed together. And think of what she does for you today, and day after day after day. Well, here's what Proverbs says that I think is part of the source of this woman's energy and creativity. It comes in chapter 31, verse 28. It says, her children rise up and call her blessed. Here's the key. Her husband also, and he praises her. This woman is thriving because she knows that her husband is talking about her, not only to her about how precious she is, but he's talking in the city gates about how blessed he is to have a woman like this in his life. So how can you participate in this precious wife that you have? Well, let me just give you one word, be kind. This could be a thousand and one different applications. It's not just some, some kind of weak tolerance. What it means is anticipating a need and filling that need for her. It's doing little things for her, however she needs it. It's encouraging her, it's affirming her, it's giving her a resource she needs to advance her career or her creativity. It's releasing her to do some things that she's always wanted to do. It's affirming her skills and her relationships and letting her know how much you rely on her. This is the way you bless your wife. This is the way you renew your own sense of how precious she is. And this is how you demonstrate to her that your heart trusts in her and she brings you good, not harm, all the days of your life. So today, show your wife how precious she is.